Well, big breaking news now coming in from Pakistan. Pakistan's uh, second largest naval air station, PNS Siddiqui in Turbat, has been attacked with gunfire and multiple explosions have been reported from the area. Now, according to the Balochistan Post, uh, the Majid Brigade of the proscribed Balochistan Liberation Army has claimed a responsibility for the attack on the naval air base in uh, Pakistan. Well, another big explosion reported from Pakistan. Remember days early, earlier, another explosion was reported and now this time explosion being reported at the second largest naval air station PNS Siddiqui in Turbat. Uh, Balochistan uh, Liberation Army has claimed a responsibility for the attack. Visuals of the attack on your screens there, viewers. This is the attack on the second largest naval air station in Pakistan in Turbat region. Visuals of the explosion on your screens, uh, viewers. Balochistan Liberation uh, Army has claimed a responsibility for the attack on the naval air base. Well, now we have my colleague uh, Kaswar joining us from Islamabad. Uh, Kaswar, uh, good morning to you. Uh, well, that's uh, grave news coming in from Pakistan where its uh, naval base has been attacked. What more do we know from this uh, update? Well, you have rightly caught it. It was the second time in last week that another Pakistan naval base, this time in Turbus, came under attack. And according to what I am getting from here, fortune sources is four terrorists uh, uh, who had uh, belonging to Blochistan Liberation Army, uh, they attacked last night. And uh, But the, fortunately, they were all perished and they could not enter the premises of the attack. This is what I am getting from my sources uh, for within Pakistan's armed forces as well. But one thing is for sure. Uh, if we look at the frequency of the attack, it shows that uh, during the last uh, uh, couple of weeks, the frequencies of attack by the terrorists have increased in Blochistan and in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa as well. This is something which has actually shocked Pakistani government and Pakistan law enforcement agencies as well. Uh, don't forget that last week, uh, Another uh, the, uh, naval base, another uh, security base came under attack, but that was foiled as well. But uh, on the other hand, frequency of the attack by the Blochistan Liberation Army and Majid Brigade and other terrorist organizations have actually shocked Pakistani authority as well. And this is what the Pakistani authorities are looking at at the moment. So far, no casualty from uh, Pakistan armed forces have been reported, but all the four terrorists have been killed and clear operation, operation clearance have concluded. And this is what I have got from the sources, but no official work from Pakistan's armed forces on the attack is yet. Right, Kaswar, we are also learning that security has been beefed up in Gwadar and uh, other big cities, including uh, Islamabad. What are those security measures? Just take us through some of those. Well, uh, yes, exactly. This is what we are getting from the sources. The security uh, have been beefed up for the Chinese nationals the, who are living in Gwadar, in Karachi, Lahore, Peshawar, and in Islamabad. Uh, let me tell you that uh, Islamabad Capital Charity Police have recently asked Pakistani government to provide funds to hire 1,000 more cops, especially to take care of the Chinese uh, uh, who are living inside the federal capital of Islamabad. So this is a really a great situation. And in, in order to cope with the security situation, especially when it's come to safeguard Chinese, the government of Pakistan, the law enforcement agencies are taking uh, great care and they have called for funds. And as of now, what I am getting from this process is that the security has been beefed up for the Chinese national living across Pakistan, including 
گوادر کراچی لاہور اینڈ اسلام آباد Well, thanks for joining us uh, from Islamabad with those details, Kaswar. Uh, meanwhile, viewers, uh, we move on now. Now, after undergoing an emergency brain surgery, a spiritual leader, Sadhguru, has uh, informed his followers that he is recovering well after the operation. He also shared a video of himself from the hospital in which he can be seen working to his way on speedy recovery. Here's a report on that. 